Good morning out there, everybody, members of the Douglasville Church of Christ and friends. Uh, it's a very rainy Monday morning. I uh, hope that you had a really, really good weekend. Hope that your worship uh, yesterday at home was meaningful, and I hope you were able to spend that time with, with some people that you love. Um, we're just continuing to pray for our church, pray for our country. I, I don't know how, but I'm praying that God can can heal our land, heal our world of this virus that's going around and the fear that we uh, currently have throughout our nation and the instability that we have. Uh, he is our rock and our fortress and our foundation. Uh, we have to put our trust in Him and not in, not in anything else, not in anyone else. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Today, I believe we're going to read in the biggest story, chapter 5. Now, where we ended off last chapter was where God led the Israelites through the land of Egypt and through the Exodus across the Red Sea. So, uh, thank you for tuning in, and we'll, we'll be started on our new chapter. It was a very good thing God was always rescuing His people, because it seems that no matter how many times God saved His people, the Israelites were never quite safe from themselves. See, after God delivered his people from Egypt, he gave them a lot of commandments. This wasn't to punish them, but to help them and protect them. They were good commandments. And if they obeyed the commandments, God's people would be blessed. There would be food and children and long life and protection and a new home. It would be just like they were in paradise again. That's where God wanted to lead them all along, back to the garden. But if they didn't obey, there would be curses, just like the ones that fell on Adam and Eve and the serpent. As you might have guessed, the people didn't do so well obeying God's commands. And after Moses and his helper Joshua died, they disobeyed even more. They ignored the most important commands, and when they did work, work hard at some rules, like getting their sacrifices right, they didn't really obey those rules from the heart. They just checked them off their, their list and forgot about the more important commands. Not that God's people deserved it, but God finally gave them their promised land. God did the work to get them in, but God's people didn't do the work to drive everyone else out. This caused a lot of trouble for the Israelites. They constantly had enemies to fight. And worse, they constantly had to fight the temptation to be just like their enemies. Sometimes things would go well for Israel when they had a good leader and when they obeyed, but most often things went poorly. God gave the Israelites rules, but they didn't follow them. God made his dwelling among them, but they didn't act like they wanted him to stick around. God sent prophets, but Israel didn't listen. God provided priests, but the priests didn't know how to be holy. Later, God gave them kings, but the kings were a royal pain. Israel was a mess. Of course, God still had his promises to keep, but most days, it was hard to imagine how anyone could save this stubborn people. It would have been even harder to imagine how the promised man could come from among this people. Alright, things aren't going very well in Israel. I want to keep going with the story and see how it turns out. Uh, and to see how amazing and beautiful God is to his people, even though they aren't faithful to him all the time. Uh, we're thankful for God's grace. Uh, we pray for you. Uh, pray for everything going well in your family. We pray that you aren't sick. Uh, just pray that God will continue to protect all of you. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.